Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, sages Patanjali and uh, Vyakrapada. These two are great saints, and Patanjali is well known for Yoga Sutras. He is called the father of Yoga Sutras. And let us first see the history of Patanjali. Once in Vaikunda, when Lord Vishnu was lying on Adi Shesha, suddenly tears started flowing down from Vishnu's eyes. By looking at it, Adi Shesha, the snake, it was asking Vishnu what's the reason behind that. And immediately Vishnu explained that Lord Shiva is doing his cosmic dance right now and by looking at that, without my knowledge, tears started coming out from my eyes. That's what Vishnu said. By hearing this, Adi Shesha also also got like he wanted to see that particular cosmic dance. So he requested Vishnu that he wants to see the dance and Vishnu suggested that you better go go to the earth and be born there and when time comes you will have the opportunity to see the dance. So Adi Shesha was born in Tillai Chidambaram with the name Padanjali. Padanjali's form, the you, the body form was like from head till hip it is a human form and from hip till toe it is a snake's body. He was born there and he was doing Shiva Puja and waiting for the right time and during that time he composed this Yoga Sutras. Padanjali learned Yoga Sutras from Lord Nandi. Nandi means happiness in Tamil Magirchi. Nandi is considered to be the guru for Padanjali, Vyakrapada, Tirumula and another some more five saints. So overall Nandi had eight students out of which Padanjali and Vyakrapada, they both are together, they learn from Nandi. And Padanjali is waiting to see the cosmic dance. Now let us see the story of Vyakrabada. Vyakrabada was a person who is called Manuni, born in Chitambaram Tillai, and he was doing everyday pujas to Lord Shiva. He takes such a care that he climbs into the trees to get the flowers where the honeybee has still not have drunk the honey from the flowers. So he is so cautious to select the flowers. By doing this what happened is the thorns in the trees have damaged his legs uh, terribly. By looking at his penance and uh, pujas, Lord Shiva appeared in front of him and asked him what does he want. And that time he was telling that because his legs are getting damaged, he needs a legs which are very hard. So Lord Shiva gave him the legs as tiger's legs. Vyagra in Sanskrit means tiger. So Vyagra Pada means foot. Vyagra Pada means a person with a tiger's foot. In Tamil, Pulikal Munivar. So, these two people, Padanjali and Vyakrapada, after a lot of penance, they did add a chance to see the cosmic dance in Chidambaram, and that was the day which is considered to be the Pradosham day. As I said, Padanjali and Vyakrapada are friends. So their Jiva Samadhis is also together, very close by. The place is in Tiruchi, 30 kilometers from Tiruchi, which is Tirupattur. The temple, the 
the temple where Padanjali is Jiva Samadhi is called Brahma Burishwaram temple and the temple where Vyakrapada's Jiva Samadhi is called Kasi Vishwanatha temple. When Vyakrapada was there in Tiruchi, he established a Shivalinga there and then to do the Abhishega he wanted Ganges, Ganga. And during that time, Lord Indra in his elephant called Airavad, he was traveling with Ganga water, Ganges water. Vyakrabhada stopped him and he was asking him to give the Ganges. But Indra said, no, I am taking this to Thiruvanika temple, which is in Trichy as well, for the Abhishega. By hearing this, Vyakrabhada got angry and with his tiger's claws, he started digging the ground and he made the Ganga, Ganges to come there. That Tirtha is still there in Trichy and it is every day. It never gets drained. It's always there. Water is always there and this water is used for Abhishega in Kashi Vishwanatha temple in Trichy. And Vyakrabhada also said that from now on only after Abhishega is finished in this temple, then only Abhishega will happen in the Thiruvanaka temple. That is being followed till now. Vyakrabhada's Jiva Samadhi is there in this temple. So, if you have time, please do go to Trichy and do visit these two places. The Brahma Burishwaram temple which I was talking about, I have already mentioned in a previous video, which title as Temple which changes the fate. People who have gone here definitely says that their fate is being changed. Please do go and visit these temples and also please take care.